boys back with another video. Today we're going to be doing 3v3 tier list. Now, just one uh, one he one um, one thing I want to talk about real quick. My RBGs video, a lot of people think that just because it's good or it's, it has its situation in BGs makes it good in RBGs. That's not correct. There are tons of amplifiers and BGs that you can use that you cannot use in RBGs. There's a bunch of, there's just so much factors that add on. So to say, oh, I've seen a devil booker, you know, kill an entire team and beat normal BGs. Yeah, that's irrelevant. You don't know what amplifiers he's using, what pots he's using. You know, if he's getting lust, it, it, there's just so much things. So, you know, to keep that in mind while we're doing this, this is all based off of just having honor gear. And this is all based off of really scrims and BGs, which means really nothing as of right now. So... Just, I just wanted to get that out there real quick. And, again, anybody that has Cataclysm Gold on Benediction, make sure to hit me up because um, I can use some Bane Gold. So hit me up. I'll offer you some coaching, some carries, whatever you want, really. Just hit me up on Discord. It's only going to be for a little bit of my time. But as of now, if you got it, you got the extra gold, you know, let me know. But let's go on to the video here. Not doing any tanks. And this is right now based off of honor goal, or honor year, so we don't really know what it'll be with tier sets. But this is going to be pretty much the closest that you're going to be able to get. So we're going to go with that as of now, because right now I'm just basing it off of scrims. And I've seen Mud's video on him, his Fury Warrior. The thing is, and I've seen people uploading like I did 42 and 0 in scrims, like that means anything. It's pretty funny that people take scrims actually seriously. But, you, <laughs> it is what it is. Let's get on with the video, though. Um, first off, we're going to be starting with is going to be... Mm, let's go with the Warrior, since that's the most obvious. Now, based off... Not even based off everything we've seen, but based off of everything about it, Fury Warrior's in the, probably the best melee in the game, by far. Um, you're at the two-button rotation pretty much the entire time. May, almost even a one-button rotation. And there's really nothing more to say. It's probably, it's just everything about Fury Warrior is skillless. So there's really, you know, it is, it's just Fury Warrior. Arms Warrior. Arms Warrior is probably A tier. It's nowhere near as strong as Fury Warrior, but it has its moments. You know, it still does really good bursts. It's definitely high A. It's still, you're going to see Arms Warrior just as much as Fury Warrior, just because they're both just pretty easy to play. And the only hard thing about Warrior in general is trying to catch somebody pretty much. So, you know, having the luxury of being pretty much the best spec in the game it must be nice. Next one that we're going to be going with is going to be... Uh, we're going to be going with Shaman. As of now, Enhancement Shaman is going to be A tier. Again, it could definitely be around S tier as well because... You know, Fury Warrior, Enhancement Shaman, h Pilot, you're pretty much doing Turbo. So, it's kind of, you know... The thing is, I feel like Enhance is going to get nerfed, like, really bad, but... Comp-wise, it's really insane. You can either play Enhance Windwalker or Enhance Fury Warrior. 3v3-wise, it's probably going to be S-tier, honestly. Right now, as of right now, everything about Enhance is broken. You know, they're doing literally 70 zeros, and they're probably one of the most burstiest spec in the game right now. It's just, they're pretty broken. They definitely need a little bit of tuning, but I think they kind of reworked it, but they're still, I don't know if they did much. So, this can either be high A or S tier. With all, with the burst that it's putting out and its overall damage, it's probably going to be S tier. Uh, it can work with, the, like, a few comps, but if as long as you're playing with those comps, you're going to be good. So... Um, it's definitely going to be insane. Probably, it's literally like a sub rogue and a and a fury warrior at the same time, because it you know it does insane amount of burst, and then it also has just consistent. It's it's pretty much a two button rotation with elemental blasts included, like elemental blast, and you click your other two main abilities and flame shock. That's it. So it's going to be S tier for right now. Um, again, if it gets nerfed, or if it goes down to where it's not hitting those huge bursts goes, then it's going to be A tier, you know, back to where it is. But, as far as I know, what I've seen, Super T's and, and all of that, it's S tier. I, but, if you're watching this video, and it got nerfed, 
or it's no longer hitting those immense burst strikes with elemental blast or you know just as burst in general then you're where this is going to be lower but based off what i've seen currently it's going to be esther just because of how just brain dead broken it is next spec elemental El ellie's probably going to be Low A, honestly, probably where, like, it's going to be A, but I don't think it's going to be that good. I don't think you're going to see a saying a lot of these guys. Sure, you can do LEDH. You can also do LE Fury Warrior. I don't think LEDH is going to be anywhere near as good as, like, you know, there's really just not many comps you can play with LE. You kind of just have to do, you know, LEDH or LE Fury Warrior. You just have to play, like, certain comps in order to make it work. I don't really see it working with another caster right now. So. Yeah, it's, it's not doing the best. I'd say it's like, it's okay, but it's not god tier. It, it's playable. It's 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 good. It's okay. Next back we're going to be going with is going to be uh, Russell Shaman, which is going to be A tier as well. It's overall healing and pretty much, it's kind of always in this spot to where it's kind of like A or B tier. It's going to be A tier for right now. It is good. It's definitely good. So, Next back we're going to be going over is going to be Russell Rude. Wrestler Dude is going to be S tier. It's kind of S tier in everything, single category. RBGs, Blitz, 3s, 2s, Solo Shuffle. Hey, you're going to see these guys consistently almost every other match. Um, They're just really popular and they're really good. Barrel Druid is go going to be, as far as I know, A tier. And the reason I'm not putting it at S is mainly due to the fact that they kind of tune down their their bite damage and they're doing they're still doing okay bites but it's mainly just about their bleeds you know they're kind of just going back to the normal okay these guys are going to be what they were made to be which was a bleed spec they were never made to be a sub rogue they were made to be a, an assassination rogue pretty much with cc you know with cyclone spams you know with shifting stuff like that it was never made to be oh well i click you know it's not it's not convoke so it's still going to be really good definitely high a so it's going to be close to S just because you can play jungle and you can play, you know, Feral um, Mage is going to be really popular, just like it was in Season 4. You know, Feral Druid Arcane, Feral Druid Fire Mage, Feral Druid Frost Mage. You can play all those and definitely make it work. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be good. You're going to see a good amount of these guys, and that's pretty much that. And these are not in order. I always keep this in mind. Unless I say I'm putting it in order, they're not in order. So it's not like I'm being, I'm not, I'm not saying Pharaoh is better than Ellie. I'm not saying Russell Shaman is better than Pharaoh. Like, let's just, you know, it's A tier. It's good. It's it's going to be good. That's that's pretty much all this. That's all that means. Next one that we're going to be going off with is going to be DK. Unholy DK in 3v3 is most likely going to be S tier. Um, you're going to see a lot of these guys. You know, Unholy DK Fury Warrior is probably going to be their most popular comp. The other one that I can see like happening is Fury Warrior Assassination Rogue. That's also that was an AWC comp. Uh, since Assassin is doing really good at the moment, and Unholy D D DKs is doing really good, I don't see why you wouldn't see this comp again. And that's pretty much that. So Fury Unholy DK definitely going to be popular. It kind of is always just in the spot of just doing really good. And right now, even if it's not one-shotting necessarily, it's still doing insanely well. So this could also be, you know, A tier, but I'm going to put it as S. Just because it's a really popular spec. You're going to see these almost every every two or three games at least. So, you know, you're, you're going to be you're gonna be facing that a lot. Next one is going to be Frost DK, which is going to be A tier as of now. Um, you're still going to see a good amount of these guys. I'd say they're kind of in the medium of... Uh, the list here so like you know they're kind of mid maybe low they're good but i think like they kind of got underestimated the one reason these are actually going to be really good is if they pair it up with a dev evoker or you pair it up with a fury warrior you know just something insanely bursty and you you can make it work it definitely you're definitely going to see frost dk's i don't think you'll see them as much as an holy dk but i still think they're they have their spot in 3v3 arena 100 percent Mainly, it's going to be Frost again, uh, Dev Evoker. But next one that we're going to be going over is going to be Rhett Paladin. Now, Rhett, I, I saw the buffs that, and they kind of they kind of did a little bit of stuff with it. Rhett Paladin, it's going to be A tier, and the reason is is one key factor: Rhett, Rhett Paladin and Arms Warrior 
Rhett Paladin and Fury Warrior. And those comps right there are just automatically, like, Rhett Warrior is always that spec or, you know, comp that's good. It always is. Even if Rhett isn't that good, that's just the comp that just works. It's just, it's it's a good comp you can play. You know, if you're playing with solid players, you can win games. And I think it's still good. So, definitely A tier. And if we were to, like, you know, put it in an order here, I'd probably say something like this. Uh, yeah, something like this. So I'd say Rhett is definitely better than Frost DK, just because you, as Rhett, you have just, you're, you're, you're a big utility bot. So, you know, you have Bop, Sack, Lay on Hands, well, not only Sack, but you have One Minute Sack, you know, you have Off Healing, so you're going to be better than that. And I think Arms Warrior is probably, it, it, it just depends really with this. I'm not, I'm not going to, I don't really know as of now. Which one? I think Arms is probably better just because Rhett is kind of lacking in some spots. But that's just these. Not, I'm not, you know, whatever. The next one that we're going to be going over is going to be h Bell. h Bell is going to be B tier. It's not very good. It's okay. You can make it work. But I think it's healing. is just you're going to get out healed by literally every other spec in the game. Unless you play insanely good. And you could still make it work, but again, it's like you're gonna, it, it's not gonna be that fun. It just really isn't. They kind of just, they don't, once they nerf a spec like that, it doesn't get bought for a, like, th you know, an expansion and a half, just like Sub Rogue or whatever. You know, it took them four, three seasons to just buff it up enough to where it's good. And this expansion is the only, well, they it usually in pre patch or whatever, it's really good. And then they absolutely hit it with the hammer right before or a weekend so like you'll be seeing sub road nerfs and huge nerfs a week later that's how they do those type of specs just like enhanced just like feral druid just like so any any spec that requires setup that's what they do because they hate setup because it actually you know they actually have to you know do things to pvp but they only do things to pvp pve unfortunately next one that we're going to be going over is going to be boomy Boomy is going to be right now A tier. It's going to be around where Feral Druid is. So, if anything, honestly, I think it's going to be definitely, if I'm counting all of these, I think Boomy is going to be the better one. Right now, it's doing really good damage. And the main thing with Boomy is it's CC. So, it's CC is absolutely god tier still. Cyclone has yet to be, you know, nerfed. It's a spammable CC. And it's doing really good damage, insanely good burst, and you know they didn't nerf your bear form, but now you're forced to you're actually able to sit out of form, and you know if and people aren't expecting you to just sit bear form at a hundred percent or eighty percent or sixty percent because there's really no point because you're they're able to just hit through your stuff now. Now you're just like you're just able to cast, and people are like, okay, once you get to like thirty five percent bear form, use your healing. It's it's not going to do much, but it's good enough. But uh, yeah, I think Boomy's definitely good. Solid. Next spec that we're going to be going over is going to be uh, Mage. So Frost Mage, going to be A tier. Still in 3v3, you're going to see Demo Warlock, and you're going to see Frost Mage. You're going to be seeing maybe Frost Mage Feral Druid, and maybe Frost Mage Rogue. You know, there's, just, there's countless comps that they can play. I don't think it's going to be high A or nothing. I think right now it's probably just... You know, medium A, something like that. These are not in order, by the way. These specifically, like Frost Mage and, you know, whatever. If I had to, like, put it in a, in a thing right here, you know, I'd probably put it, like, here. And maybe, like, maybe this. M maybe? Because I think Ellie and Feral Druid and Boomy are definitely better than Frost Mage. But I think Frost Mage is better than these three, specifically. Just because it still does damage. And it still has really good, you know... It's still reliable. But... You know, that's that's just where I'm going to put it without, you know, not spending too much time on it. Next one that we're going to be going over is Fire Mage. It's going to be B tier. This is kind of obvious. Unless they buff Pyroblast by literally 20%. Now, Fire Mage, the only way it's, uh, it's actually going to be good is, one, they buff it in PvE, which makes it buffed in PvP. So, what they're going to end up doing, which I think they already did, they're going to buff Flame Strike. And they're going to buff it enough where it's like, okay, now it's broken again. We can kind of just spam Flame Strike in a group and do damage instead of buffing Pyroblast. Because if they buff Pyroblast by 20%, it, 
if their bus can if their combustion can kill something in six seconds, you know, in a kidney shot, pretty much, with by, like by itself, it's actually able to its burst is actually like qualified as anybody else's burst. It'll be playable and it'll be really good, but it'll never happen because again, this is a setup spec. Fire Mage has always been a setup spec. Next spec that we're gonna be going over is gonna be Arcane. Now I have seen a bit of Arcane actually, which I honestly think is gonna be A tier. And if I had to put this in a spec right now, as of now, what I've seen, it's probably going to be like right there. I've seen it doing really good damage. Actually, pretty good damage. So, and the reason Arcane will be good is one, Arcane Feral Druid and Arcane Rogue. And then you could, you know, you could do other specs, but mainly, you know, Rogue Mage and then you have, you know, Feral Mage and maybe even Mage Fury Warrior, which will be really good. You know, Arcane Feral or, or, or Arcane Fury Warrior. So, I think it's going to be good. As of now, I think it's going to be great. It's doing damage. It's not bad at all. Again, this is based off scrims, what I've seen. But, you, you know, they're, they're amp you know, at least in scrims, there's no amplifiers. In BGs, you can add a bunch of amplifiers, which it's kind of it's kind of weird to bait. That's why RBGs and Blitzer are so hard to like, oh, well, this is going to be the meta. Because we don't know what's who's using amplifiers, what it, what you've seen. It's like it's it's just, it's a whole it's all stammered over the place. But uh, next one that we're gonna be going over is going to be lock, and I think Affy lock is gonna be A tier, so somewhere around you know here. And these are this I'm doing caster wise right here, so you know. And if I had to do melee, um, I think Pharaoh Druid's hundred percent better than these three. So, if I had to, like, put in an order, it'd probably be maybe, maybe like this. So, Avi Warlock, again, you have a lot of comps. Mainly, your main comp, Assassination Rogue and Affliction Warlock. What else What else do you have that I've seen? Affi SP, which isn't really, SP is not that good right now, but still. So, that's mainly just your two comps right there that are just usually goaded. And anytime Affy is doing any time of damage, it's, you know, really good. But then again, I have seen it doing a unhealable amount of damage. Um, it's just so hard to, like, it's it's hard to scale it. Because it could be better than all of these. It, I don't know. Again, this could be S tier just based off what I've seen. But until until I've seen enough of it, I cannot say... So I'm gonna say it's high A, low S. So just don't, 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 you know, quote me on this when the when it, you know rated duds come out and everyone's like, oh my god, this is, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I think right now it's definitely gonna be good, really good. But uh, that's where I'm keeping that for right, for now, right now. Desert Warlock is gonna be probably the lowest caster right now. Um, they haven't really done anything with Destro, even with the buffs that it received. It's doing okay, but the main problem with it is it's casting. You know, it, it they've made it more to like an instant cast caster now, and you know you can get those chaos bolts out. But you know, I don't I don't see you ever getting a bolt off unless you're really good at fate casting and you're playing comps that are really reliable on bolts. So like even with the instant cast, you're gonna be playing you know Destro Warlock and Rogue. Usually Destro Sub Rogue, even Destro Assassin works. You know. There's just there's comps that work, but they all they you know they all you know are the they're based around a stun, and on that stun you need the maximum amount of damage, which is kill bolt, which is not gonna go too well because there's 900 stops in the game, so um, I don't think it's gonna be very good, and even if it is, I don't think anybody's even gonna even bat an eye when FD is good. So, next one that we're gonna be going over is going to be Rogue with a one and only. So SS is gonna be S tier. Based off what I've seen, it's doing insanely well. Same thing with Sub Rogue. I think these are both just really good. They're able to, you know, you're able to play a lot of comps. And, you know, they're both doing good. It's really all there is to it. So, I don't think they're as good as Fury Warrior, nowhere near. And, I think Unholy DK is better. I think Enhance is better. And the only reason I'm saying Enhance is better is because it is literally, un it's doing unhealable burst. And what I mean by unhealable, I think it's... If it was, if we were talking burst wise, I th it's probably the strongest spec in the entire game for burst. I think it's doing that much burst damage. It's like if you did a, a hundred to zero, I think enhance is probably going to come out at one of the highest, if not the highest. 
But um, yeah, if I had to put it in order, it'd be Fury, DK, Enhance, and then you're going everything else. I, th I still think these are really insane, though. And overall, they're going to be better. Just Enhance right now is just unbelievable. Uh, just unbelievable. I have something outside. It sounds like something. Oh, it's my dog. She's panning. I was like, what is what is that noise? All right, well, next one that we're going to be going over is going to be Outlaw Rogue, which is going to be terrible. Don't really have to talk about much of that. Next one that we're going to be going over, because, I mean, Outlaw is kind of just, it's had, they had done nothing with it. Windwalker. Windwalker is going to be really, actually pretty good. It's probably going to be better than all of these two. It's doing really good damage. I still think it's behind Feral Druid, because you're able to literally do spammable CC, which which will always usually be better than Windwalker. Unless Windwalker all of a sudden is one-shotting everything. But uh, that's pretty much that. Next one, Survival Hunter. If I had to put Survival somewhere... I haven't seen enough of survival to be honest, but I'm gonna put it behind Frost DK. I think it's good, but I just haven't seen enough. Maybe it could be like in here, possibly it could be like behind. You know, I I just I don't know enough. I like I just I don't see these specs anymore. Like I don't see anybody playing them. Everyone's just playing the meta. Like that's that's all I can say. This could either be behind these or in front of these. Based on what everyone tells me, survival is actually pretty pretty well. It's doing pretty good. And now this is melee wise. I'm not saying these casters are better than melee. I'm just putting them in order from melee so you guys understand. Because usually people just look at my video. Oh, well this isn't better than this. And I have to explain them and it's just annoying. Next one uh, we're going to be going with is going to be MM Hunter. MM is surprisingly doing really good. I'm going to put this as a caster because it, it's, it's not really a melee. So... If I had to put it in a caster thing, I would probably put it, it'll probably end up being this. Even if it's not doing that good, like if it's not one-shotting everything. Now, the only thing I can say maybe is this. This this probably sounds better. Just because it's not one-shotting necessarily, it's still going to do really good in jungle. You know, you put one of the top melee that's in, you know, A tier, and you put it with, you know, jungle. It's going to do pretty good. If you do, you know, there's this, uh, there's okay amount of comps you can play. Usually you're just going to be playing Feral and Hunter and you're going to make it work. But as as of that, I think it's 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 okay. I don't I don't think it's that good, but I think it's better than Destro and Frost Mage. The only argument I can say here is this. So I think this may sound better just cuz Frost Mage is actually doing pretty good damage and MM I haven't seen anything of it. I've just, it got nerfed, it was okay, it was pretty good, so we'll put it at that. So it's not the, the worst, but it's also not the best. I think Arcane and these are just, they're overall better, to be honest. Next one that we're going to be going over, Holy Priest, terrible. If I had to put these in order, I'd put H-Pal above Holy Priest. I'd put Fire Mage above Outlaw Rogue, just because Outlaw is just unbelievably bad. At least Fire Mage got a buff and they're, they're, they're going to be like, okay, well I can stand here at least do you know something but it's still that something is still going to be bad but uh yeah holy breeze terrible not really gonna you're not gonna see it that's just that next one is going to be disc priest which is actually going to be pretty good in three three v three arena i'd say it's probably going to be better than wrestle shaman you're going to see a lot of priest disc priest especially i'd probably say they're they're going to be the fourth top healer so they're gonna be right behind the other healers, and you could even say this is very this is low low S, but I'd say it's high A. Definitely better than Wrestle Time overall. You have just uh, unhealable amounts of CDs, and you also have damage. You also have really good CC that lines up with everybody. Next one that we're gonna be going over is going to be SP. Now SP is kind of strange spot. I don't think it's very good, and the only reason I'm saying that is you, sure you can pair it with Affy Warlock. And, you know, maybe even Assassination Rogue. But overall, as uh, like we're talking just spec-wise, which is basically what we're talking about, I don't think it's very good. I think it's obviously better than the other the B tier, so it's, it is high A, low S, or low A, I mean. But I just, I don't see it doing very good in a melee heavy. Like, the two specs that you actually have to cast on is going to be Destro Warlock and SP. And the reason I put Destro Warlock is probably one of the worst it's because in a melee meta like this, you're going to get kicked, kicked, kicked. You're going to get stunned three times. In cap, you're going to get 
it's just it, you're not gonna have fun and on top of that it's not unless you can literally just sit there and instacast and have a spec that you can do that it's this is not gonna do very well so sp i this is the one spec i actually don't see doing well at all right now it just it doesn't unless, like i just don't see it doing well i don't know maybe it can work you can maybe say it's like behind Destro Warlock, but I honestly think it's the one spec that just hasn't been very good. You know, I haven't seen any buffs with it. I haven't seen it. Nobody's been playing it. You know, I mean, that's just that's how I feel about it. But who knows? There's probably somebody who disagrees. The next bet that we're going to be going over is going to be Evoker. So Prez Evoker going to be S tier. It's it has really good healing. You're able to put it up with a lot of comps. And the best thing about it is it counters Wrestler Druid. So, you know, that's that's great. And, you know, having that one button purge to just instantly delete all hots is uh, magnificent. So, yeah. Pred Evoker, you're going to see a lot of these guys. Not only in threes, but in everything else. So, that's awesome. Dev Evoker. Dev Evoker is probably going to be one of the casters that is S tier. Um, I think right now it's, it's the same spot. It's pretty much enhanced fear warrior and it is, it is doing really insane burst. It's kind of like, it, it, it's just going to be paired with really good comps. And then on top of that, again, it's doing insanely good burst, not just AOE burst, because obviously it's mainly just the, you know, solo target burst where it's not, you know, cleaving everything. It's not, you know. Mainly, it's just a burst. It's burst damage, and you're able to just sit there, click one ability. You know, it's an easy spec to play. You're literally just, you know, clicking your keybind for that one button that channels, and that's pretty much it. So I think it's gonna be S tier in three v three. Put a Dev Evoker with a Fury Warrior. Put a Dev Evoker with a DK. Put a Dev Evoker with Assassination Rogue, Sub Rogue. And you can literally put it with anything, and it'll work. Like it'll just work Dev with Feral Druid, and etc. So yeah, it's the one caster that's probably going to be S tier. You're going to see a lot of these guys. And that's pretty much that. Just their overall pressure is just going to be insane. It's going to be really hard to heal through if, you, if they're with the right comp. And they're just pumping out damage. But that's that. Next one that we're going to be going over is going to be Aug, Which I think is going to be terrible in threes. It's just, yeah, no. Now in RBGs and Blitz, you know, at least it has some AOE, you know, it can at least do AOE abilities, which actually makes it actually pretty okay. P pretty much A tier. It can definitely can be A tier, like low A. But in arena wise, yeah, that's going to be terrible. And next one, we're going to be going with Mistweaver. So Mistweaver is kind of hard, but I'm going to put it at, at um, it's probably going to be behind Shaman. Now, even though they did buff its orb, I still don't think it's that good. I think it's even if you have your their, you know, like their hots are like okay and stuff, but it's like you know I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about Miss Weaver so far. Like I know in RBGs Blitz, it's gonna be insane, great, whatever. But in three v three arena, I don't really see you facing a lot of Miss Weavers. So I think it's probably behind Shaman, behind Disc, and that's pretty much that. Maybe it can you know maybe something can change. But I just think in arena wise, it's you're just not gonna see it that much in threes. Unless it's like really, really good players trying to like mess around with it. Next one that we're gonna be going with is BM. BM Hunter. Probably gonna be behind all the other casters, but still good. So, you know, I see it definitely being it has its spot, but I think it's definitely low A. That's why I'm putting it at the very end. I think MM at least, you know, its burst capabilities and all that will make it work with other comps. But um, I think BM, it, it has consistency, but <clears throat> off that, you know, I just think it's good. I just think it's A tier good. That's pretty much it. Demo Warlock, pretty much in the same boat. Um, I think it's better than BM, only due to the fact that it's it's not meant to be a whole, it's not meant to do unhealable damage. It's meant to literally control like a sub rogue. And, you know, it still has damage. But, you know, that's pretty much that. So I think it's better than BM, but it's not the best, but it's definitely up there. Like, you can, it definitely, you're definitely going to see them in threes. Like, Frost Mage, Demo Warlock, pretty much the same thing. You know, Demo Warlock SP, even if SP is not very good, you know, it's just, there's, there's okay amounts of things that go with it. But that's pretty much that. And the last spec, which will be DH, which will probably around, it's right now, 
I'd say it's probably behind Arms Warrior. I haven't really, again, this is another spec that I haven't seen anyone really playing much. It's just not really that popular right now. It's okay, but until Rated comes out and Tier List comes out and stuff like that, you know, maybe once we get more gear, it'll start just being overwhelming again. But as of now, it's probably a only better than Serve and Rhett and Frosty K. Actually, eh. Actually, I, I've just realized that I was putting Frosty K here. I actually had no idea I had it here. I was, I don't know what the... Because, yeah, Frosty K is insane still, so I don't know why, but it, maybe I was like... I must have been high all of a sudden. Um, yeah, Frosty K is insane. I don't know why I put it there. Um, where is the highest melee that I had? Yeah, definitely here. Okay, so hopefully somebody didn't comment this before they got to the end of the video. Yeah, Frosty Gay, I don't know why I put it here. Frosty Gay is just behind the best, like the best A tier by, for sure. You're going to see a ton of Frosty Gays because they work with Dev Evoker insanely well. And they're just overall, their overall damp burst is going to be overwhelming and pretty insane. It's not going to be as, like enhanced one shot insane, but it's going to be DK insane. And on Holy DK, it's only S tier, by the way, because it's going to be doing really good damage. And yeah, that's pretty much that. So I know people are going to disagree with that, but I honestly think oh, if you're seeing a ton of the same spec, maybe not in scrims, because in scrims in 2v2 arena, they're not going to be good. This is 3v3 arena. So in scrims, you'll be like, oh, well, I go in scrims and I've never seen them. In 2v2 when I'm doing all my DPS. Well, yeah, I wa wonder why. Oh, they suck in 2s. Yeah, well, I wonder why. DKs are never good in 2s with another DPS. If it was healer DPS 2s, I guarantee you'd see them doing insanely good. Keep that in mind. But yeah, that's pretty much my tier list. That's pretty much how I feel about that. I think DH is okay. But I think Windwalker is better than Arms Warrior. Just because it does have really insane pressure. And it may not be S tier good. But it is good. So, this is my tier list. And I'm not saying these casters are better than the melee. I'm just putting these in order. Again, if you haven't reached the rest of the video, I'm going to have comments back. Oh, well, you put this here. And then they didn't watch it. Watch the rest of my video. That's why people should skip through my video if you're not going to watch it. Leave a like and comment. And subscribe if you haven't already. But, you know, then you can just see the full tier list. And the full, because sometimes I switch things throughout. Because that's what I think. But as of now... With even you know, as of right now, they're doing insane. And if there's something I don't know, comment. And you don't have to hit, leave me a hate message. Well, your your tier list suck. You how about you just tell me what you think is wrong, and then I can con I can look at it, and I can be like, okay, I can see your point of view. But if you just say this tier list sucks, yeah, that doesn't tell me anything. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And that's pretty much that. And again, if they didn't get views, I wouldn't post them. So just keep that in mind. They get views. And I guarantee if you guys were to post the same thing that I post, there is a reason yours wouldn't get any views and mine is getting views. If if that's if that makes any sense. That's not a flame. That is a fact from 90, 99% of you. So, get owned. See you in the next video. Peace, peace. Let me know what you guys want to watch next.